hi guys welcome back to my channel for those of you that don't know i'm lauren and in today's video i'm going to be showing you how i do my foundation for my makeup this is not a tutorial this is just how i do my makeup and really i use it for when i go on photo shoots and there's no makeup artist or if i just want to go out and i want to put on makeup this is how i do it uh, some of the products i do use they're very affordable i don't buy overly expensive stuff i go to walmart and buy most of my makeup so yeah if you see anything that you like and you want to get it you can definitely run over to Walmart, Target, CVS and get most of this stuff. I think I think only one or two things I bought online so with all that being said let's get into the video and let's get started. Alright so the first thing I'm going to go in with I'm going to take some I just had it oh never mind found it. Okay, so I'm going to take some cotton rounds, and the first thing I'm using is this Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. And the one I use, I just always buy the one with the green cap, just because I think it's good for sensitive skin. And so I just use this to, like, cleanse my skin of any oils. I noticed though a lot of the makeup artists I work with when I go to photo shoots, they put, like, hyaluronic acid on my face. And there, and one lady explained that it um, keeps the moisture on your face, and it keeps the makeup looking really good, and it does. My makeup still looked really nice, so yep, I'm just taking all the dirt and stuff off my face, which of course I have. Alright, and so cleansing is done now. The next thing I'm going to use is one of the things I mentioned that I did buy online. Well, I got it for free, really. I had a coupon for it, so I got it for free but it's still online, is this Il Maquillage, or I'll put a picture of it. I said I was going to put a picture. Yeah, so this is what I use as my primer, and I just go, you see that there? And I just go, I don't always put it directly on my face. I put some on, and this is probably way too much, but sometimes I like, I cannot feel it on my face. And so I just put it all over my face. There we go, that should be enough. Put a little on my nose. And... Okay, there we go, looking good. I'm so sorry about this lighting. I usually have really good lighting in the apartment and right now the lighting is playing tricks on me. Yeah, okay, let me see if I do this with the camera really quick. Let me adjust it. There we go. Okay, yeah, that's a bit better. Um, so now we are done with priming and now I go in with the True Complexions HD Color Corrector in the shade, uh, I'm pretty sure it's this, this shade dark. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. The shade name used to be on here. I, mean, I know it's on here. Anyways, it's their darkest shade that they have. It's what I use. I use their darkest shade in their color corrector. They hi This hides all the dark spots that I have because I have a million bajillion dark spots. Anyways, so I just put this all over my face. I okay, that should be enough. Hopefully that is enough. Alright, so I put that down and now I grab my beauty blender which is also an e.l.f. beauty blender and I just tap, tap, tap all of that in and I make sure to get it under my chin. Yeah. As you can see, it is kind of orange. But I feel that I feel like it looks good. Oh my god! Never mind. This might not be orange. It's so dark on this beauty blender. Alrighty, there we go. Yep. So that is done and dusted. And now I go ahead and I go in with my next product, and that is the what is it called? The Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 375 Java. And I go in with just a little bit of that. Let me see. And I'm going to put that on the same sponge that I use to buff in my um, color corrector. 
I'm just gonna use the same sponge for that. And I'm not gonna put on too, too much. But that's okay, I'm only starting out with that much. And we're just gonna swipe some on my face. And then we're gonna turn this bad boy upside down and we are going to buff that in. And it moves so well. And before I go and do anything else, do already up. There we go. Lighting's better now. I'm sorry that it's switching between lightings, but it is just so dark today, and I just can't. Um, I would like to give a quick disclaimer. I don't know how to do my eyebrows, so we're just gonna rock the scraggly eyebrows as well. Okay. Um, what's next? I did foundation highlighter color for my highlighter i use a foundation the maybelline fit me 360 shade mocha foundation once i'm done shaking it then there's enough in the cap and i put some here put some here Second, I put some boo, 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 here, and I'm never gonna get the two sides of this equal. I'm just like, I don't know how beauty vloggers do it, how they get these two things to look so equal. I'm just like, I'm never going to achieve that, but okay. And then I do a little bit on my chin, and I do a stripe down my nose and then the little star thing that everybody does in the middle of my forehead and now I take a fresh beauty blender which is just another elf blender and I go in with my eyes first and I just blend that out you gotta beat your face I swear if you guys like this video comment down below because I want to make more makeup videos but it's gonna be more like I'm learning as I go and then my chin I just take the big side of the sponge and let it just smush it all over and then I go to my nose yeah I don't know, and I have no clue what like putting the stripe on your nose does, but I see so many people do it, so I was like, oh, I'll do what they're doing. And then I do my forehead. All right, and now that we've got that part down, we're going to go ahead, and the next thing we're going to do, we're going to take, well, you can really use any contour palette, and I'm only using one shade of this palette. It is the True Complexions, what is it, Dark to Deep. Oh no, no, I've got to use two palettes. I've got to use the True Complexions Medium to Dark and Dark to Deep because I use the Dark palette for like this thing right here, I don't know, for the cheekbone or under the cheekbone, I guess and that thing and then i use the medium dark to deep for underneath my eye on top of that contour color so i'm going to grab another makeup no actually no let me use the same makeup sponge and so i'm going to take some of the dark shade from the and this is the black radiance true complexion contour palette yep yeah, black radiance contour palette and just oh my just give me a second, I'm sorry. This does not wanna, there it is. And so I'm just gonna go, just gonna draw a thin line. There we go. I feel like that's right. There we go. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you can see it. And then I take my makeup brush and I just buff that baby out. 
I just buff that baby out. I don't know if that did anything, but hopefully it did something. And then I go to the next side. Wait, let me see. I go to the next side and I blend, blend, blend. I feel like my eyes work against me. Okay, and now, boop, boop, we're going to go into our medium to dark palette in the contour shade. Well, no, we're going to use the contour. I'm going to use, I'm acting like this is a tutorial. This is not a tutorial. I'm going to use the contour and sculpt shade and just kind of mix them together. So just pat the sponge into both little shade cartridges and just kind of mix them. There you go, yep. And I'll put that underneath my eye. Yep, put that underneath my eye, you guys. Now I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna go ahead and just mix that in. Mix that powder in. I feel like I look brain dead when I do that. And just as the finishing touches, I know this was supposed to just be, oh, how I do my foundation. But since I'm already gone almost a full face of makeup, I might as well put some eyeshadow on as well. So we're go I'm going to use the ColourPop Cute AF palette. And I don't know what the shade is called. The shades aren't on here. Oh, no, they're on the bottom. But I'm not going to read that. And so I just use the dark brown shade in the right hand, in the bottom right hand corner. I just put that all over my eyelid. Ugh, that looks disgusting. That looks appalling. Anyways, we're still gonna put it on. <laughs> yeah, oof. I think it looks like I have a black eye. Uh, it doesn't usually look like that. Just gonna put a little bit of that and then we're gonna put a little bit of glitter and we're gonna use this gold glitter one too and we're just gonna pat that everywhere oh Jesus that looks bad okay we'll fix it we'll fix it this is the most opaque this has ever come out I have never been able to get it to come out like this and now that I'm on camera and I'm filming a video now it wants to jank look janky now it wants to look janky. All right. And then we're just gonna blend, blend everything out. And there we go. The only thing we haven't done is eyebrows, but I'll learn eyebrows later. But this is how I do my makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was not a tutorial, but if you do end up following this video and it works for you, I mean, send me a picture, I guess. My Instagram is model Lauren Bell, M O D E L L A U R Y N B E L L, Instagram, and tell me what you think. Subscribe, like, and comment down below. And if there are any specific videos you guys want to see, please let me know. I am open to critiques because I'm just starting out. But I hope you guys like this video and have an awesome day. Bye, guys.